Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Glad you're back for another work week, Monday through Friday. Here we are once again for your mundane Monday. <laughs> All this week, we're going to be talking about I have questions. <laughs> yeah, you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, I have a funny feeling there's gonna be some special stuff going on here. John has John, no idea. John, how do bald eagles take a poop? How would I know? <laughs> so today, <laughs> Monday, we're gonna talk about giraffes. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you finally said it right. <laughs> drafts. Yeah, draft. <laughs> Sounds like she's saying drafts. You mean like the beer? No, drafts. As in like I was drafted? No, drafts. The tall animal. Drafts? It's Joe Raff. <laughs> drafts. <laughs> well, even the name is weird for the animal when you think about it. Yeah. Huh. Who, who, who looked at this giant tall thing and went, I got it. What? Joe Raff. <laughs> You're like, if, if, if it ran around in a circle and that's all it did, I'd think gyro, giraffe. <laughs> yeah, okay, it makes sense now, but where are you getting giraffe for tall? I'd have been like, why don't we call it biggie? Because <laughs> it seems to be a real biggie, tall thing, long thing. <laughs> watching a video the other day with two giraffes yeah. <laughs> and they were like necking each other no that's how they fight <laughs> no that's how they that's how they fight they use their heads their long necks and they Next slam their slam heads into them. each other yeah that's gotta co do you think that causes some serious headaches i mean come on well i, I <laughs> imagine mother nature when she figured out that's how their fight she probably went we should put in some sort of a mechanism they'll all be laying on the ground going i need some ibuprofen <laughs> kind of like the peckers that have the really long tongue uh, yeah. so i peck don't the know wood. anything about any peckers so <laughs> They got that little cush. I, maybe the giraffes have a little cush too, somehow, some way. Uh, I, 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 would, <laughs> I would imagine the giraffe manufacturer has probably put some sort of a uh, implementation of non having your head or your skull fractured when you're slamming it in. I'm sure someone you're, thought you're of it. Yeah, I mean, my gosh, break their neck. I'm uh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> the funny thing is, is have you ever seen them drink? <clears throat> That's uh, awkward. They no. spread their legs really, really wide yeah. to make themselves get lower. And you're like, <laughs> what's funny is as long as your neck is, it comes all the way down. It still doesn't reach the ground. So they no. have to like spread their legs and because they can't yeah. just like bend over. Once the neck's as far down as it goes, that's as far as it goes. <clears throat> so now straw. they got to... Now they got, yeah, they need a really long straw. <laughs> <laughs> they have to carry it with them. Yeah. Unless you're in California, you're not allowed to have straws then. So. <laughs> not they'd plastic all, ones they, in certain they'd areas. All, yeah, they, they'd all die of starvation because their paper straws would melt, you know. Oh, I had a straw. And it melted. Made of paper. <laughs> it was back there 30 kilometers in the... What do you call it? Desert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it caught on fire. <laughs> it was so hot. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be something. But now, apparently, they eat the tops of trees. Mm -hmm. All the other animals. It's interesting because all the other animals that eat, they eat, you know, leaves and stuff like that, they're mm -hmm. all low. So they all eat low. And the giraffe has <clears throat> become the animal that can go, yeah, you guys go ahead. I'll just eat the... Top of the trees. <laughs> so here, here is my funny question. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. What color are our giraffes in the dark? <laughs> wow. They don't glow in the dark. <laughs> 
No, they probably don't glow in the dark. I would imagine they're... I don't know. Do you get to see the, you know, because they're basically, they're yellow. They're different shades of yellow and brown. So, uh, like, does the yellow light up at night? Hello, I'm here. <laughs> well, if I was a giraffe and there were lions around, I would hope I don't light up at night. I'd be like, there, let me turn Bring the meal. kitchen. Let me turn the kitchen light on so everybody knows where the, where where yum yums are. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of suck. I just want to know who the heck came up with this question, and it wasn't me. It was not me. <laughs> Nope, that never that question never crossed my mind. Out of all the times that I throw out those random questions that John should be an expert at, yeah, yeah, this was not one of them. I remember the craziest one you asked me was, "How long is a pecker's tongue?" I'm like, oh. <laughs> "Why would it, why would she ask me that question?" <laughs> Oh, oh, my friend had a pecker in her backyard the other day. Big red one. Okie doke. Well, that's a special <laughs> moment. Well, I had, you don't see them very much in the um, wintertime. Well, that's because it's cold outside. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's kind of hard to see them in the cold. You know, I tend to you know, not like the cold <laughs> It can affect them. And on that note, we need to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Thank God. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Quickie with Miss B. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go back and check that out. And as always, thanks for joining us. And don't forget, don't do this alone. Bring lots of friends. Tell lots of friends. A really large <laughs> step stool because giraffes are tall. You're going to need that person support. Yes. <laughs> So part two, is it still giraffe mm-hmm. or? No, we're going to talk about other animals now. <laughs> yeah, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> I can't get my timer to work. Dang it. All right. So we're going to wing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can honestly see me asking you this question. And you going, how do I know? I'm no expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do other fish know when a fish cries underwater? <laughs> Jeez. First of all, why do you think fish cry? Because <laughs> they get sad. <laughs> so you just picture this fish swimming around and a hook gets jammed through his face and he starts bawling going, I can't believe I'm getting caught again. That's like saying, Maybe. do you think fish are happy about catch and release? Do you think they're excited about it? <laughs> do you think they volunteer to get caught for catch and release because they know they're going to live to see tomorrow? Do you think they, like, volunteer or something like that? <laughs> I don't want to be a saltwater fish. They catch and eat those things. I want to be a lake fish, and I want to be in one that was catch and release. That way, if I get pulled up, I can still get back to my family tomorrow i'd be like well that sucks happy wow, that really sucks they held me up took pictures and threw me back in the water thank god <laughs> unlike the ocean fish where they're like getting nets and gets them and going come on let's make these into fake crab there we go <laughs> did i ever tell you the story about the time that me and my dad went fishing in the canoe <laughs> oh no let's hear this Speaking of fishing, so it's been, it was like a number of years, I think, the last time just me and my dad went out fishing. And at this time, he had a house on the lake. So <clears throat> I'm down at the dock, and I'm just hanging out there, and my dad comes down. He goes, what are you doing? I said, nothing. I'm just hanging on at the dock. He goes, come on. Let's go fishing. I said, okay, but we don't, you know, we didn't have the boat in the water yet. Was this the boat that floats? Well, <laughs> the boat that floats? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And he says, oh, now come on, we'll take the canoe. I'm like, okay. Well, I haven't been in a canoe in, <laughs> since I was a kid. And this so my is dad probably sticks, why. 
<laughs> yes. My dad sticks me up front, you know. I'm in the front and he's in the back. So he's you're, doing steering. You're, you're in charge of you're in charge of <laughs> rowing and he's steering. Yeah. And you know, we put in our fishing equipment, you know, we get our rods and he says, Yeah, I know a good spot. But we'll go over there and we're gonna catch some catch some fish. I said, Okay. So <laughs> We get to the spot and we're casting away and finally I get a fish and I'm so excited because <laughs> last time I caught a fish, I think I was probably 11 or 12 years old, but it was just me and my dad fishing. I'm like, dad, I got a fish. I got a fish. I'm reeling it in and he goes, take it easy. Now we're in the canoe. Well, what do I do? I stand up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, the canoe is rocking back and forth he's yelling at me to sit my ass down <laughs> you're playing t-rex uh, uh, it's yeah. a fish it's a fish you're like yeah we knew that before we got here there'll be fish here it's the water there are chances of there being a fish in here are pretty good you're a little overexcited sit down so he shouts at me to sit down. So I sit down and I continue to reel in this fish. And I am so excited and I'm not really paying attention. And I go to grab the line to grab the fish. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the line as I'm swinging my pole. I should have been swinging it in the other direction, but I'm swinging the pole in my dad's direction. Yeah. I miss the line and there's the fish dangling on the end of it. I slap my dad across the face with the fish. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <He's>, memories. <laughs> he's swearing to beat the band. I taught you how to fish. Why are you being so Why stupid? Why are you being a Can't girl? Why are you being a girl? You're not a fish. You don't swing a fish around like it's a volleyball. What's the matter with you? We finally get it into the boat, and of course it's like flopping around like fish normally do because they're out of the water. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this! And I don't like touching the fish. Well, there's like something you do when you go fishing. You don't touch it. You just drive the my boat dad. back. Can somebody get that off my pole? My dad is trying to get. The hook out of the fish, he finally does, and it's still flopping around. And of course, it comes flopping towards me. So what do I do? I take Scream. my feet. <laughs> I take my feet. I kick the fish back into the water. My dad yells at me. What the hell are you doing? You just threw our dinner away. <laughs> <laughs> but it was coming after me. It was going to get me, Daddy. Oh, yeah, that's a special moment in time. <laughs> We get back to shore. My my stepmom. I'm surprised you didn't just say, "Out, get out of the boat, get out of the boat." Get out. If, if it wasn't so far away, it probably would have made me just get out of the boat and then walk back to the walk back to the house. We get back, and my stepmom's at the dock. She's like, "How is fishing?" My dad's like, "I don't want to talk about it," and I'm not talking to her either. As he's pointing to me. He was so mad at me. I lost the fish. I well, yeah, you caught head. it. Then you acted like a girl. <laughs> then you smacked him in the head with it. You continue to act like a girl. Then when he finally gets it off the hook and it's flopping around, you decided to kick it out of the boat because it might get you. Yeah, the chances of that upsetting a guy who was hoping to eat that is probably pretty good. That was a pretty good size northern, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that fish wasn't crying. He was probably jumping for joy that he didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I remember, I remember Jill once, we brought in a bunch of crawfish. <laughs> and uh, she, I don't know what she was thinking, but I had <laughs> taken the fish and I gutted them mm -hmm. on, onto newspaper. And then we would crinkle up the newspaper and get rid of it because you don't want to bring, you know, raccoons and all that stuff in. Yeah. She walks over and she thinks she has to clean up. So she throws the, the guts away and the fish away. <laughs> I'm like, where's the fish said, well i cleaned up but yeah but wait you saw there was a pile of guts and you saw the fish so we were eating fish what'd you do with the fish she said i i thought they were i thought you were done and you know, 
how are you done? Did you eat them yet? How are we done? Did you eat the fish yet? She's like, well, no, you're getting all upset. Yeah, because I'm trying to find the fish. Where are the fish? I threw them away. What? <laughs> Who in their right mind walks out of a house and goes, oh, I'll just clean up. Look, there's piles of guts and fish. Let me throw them both away. I said, what do you walk out to the barbecue and go, look, there's burgers and fries and hamburgers. I'll just throw it all away. I was like, this is a moment of derangement here. Why would you throw away what we were? What? <laughs> and on that note, we need to go fishing anyone? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>